It's lunchtime on January 11th and outside an office block in the city centre of Dublin, a solidarity rally is in progress. The office block, Apollo House, has been occupied over the Christmas period and used to provide emergency accommodation for homeless people, taking them off the streets at one of the coldest times of the year. The High Court has just ordered that the building has to be evicted. As word of the court decision spread, more and more people came down to stand and protest outside the building. Eventually this reached the point where there were enough people to physically link arms and to form a vast ring around the block that the building is on. This video footage is of us walking around the block filming that ring. Whatever about what the courts decree, the ordinary people of Dublin can't understand why an empty office block can't be used to provide emergency shelter for the homeless. The reason why this can't happen tells us a lot about the sort of society we live in. The housing crisis in Ireland is entirely artificial. There isn't a shortage of homes. In fact, there are loads of empty homes and apartments all over Dublin. The crisis exists as a disciplinary measure. After the boom and property crash and the pay cuts that followed it, there are huge numbers of people in Ireland that have mortgages that they can no longer afford to pay off and they are now in arrears with the banks. On the other hand, we've also seen a huge escalation in rents, which means there are also huge numbers of people paying rents that are a very large proportion of their wages. They can't really afford to be paying at that level. How do you keep people paying mortgages and rents that they can't really afford? The answer to that is by making sure homelessness is a terrifying prospect. By making sure that the only option people see if they end up homelessness, homeless is either sleeping in doorways or sleeping in crowded accommodation, perhaps only mats on floors, in situations where they don't feel safe and are worried about whether or not they're going to wake up in the morning. That's the reason why we have the terrible homeless service we currently have. It's not an accident. A huge number of politicians are landlords, are property speculators, or indeed just taking brown envelopes from property speculators. That's why we have the laws we have. Two hundred and five people have taken shelter in Apollo House over the past four weeks, and they took shelter there because there was nowhere else for them to go. Our governments have constantly said to us, there are empty beds, there are empty beds. They're not fucking beds. They're beds on the floor. And then yesterday, we heard Minister Simon Coveney said that what he said that he told us that he would do, he was already planning to do, as if these are new resources, as if he isn't willing to meet minimum standards. Then, we had eight residents who were taken away, told that they had beds under this new plan to say that Apollo House wasn't needed, and they came back because they said that the conditions inside there were worse than prison. And that included, and there's a man here beside me who was in one of them, blood on the walls, and people who said that they were recovering from addiction, they needed dry houses, and they were put in, into wet hostels, they were dumped at the entrance of these hostels, they weren't given any support. There were people who were told they were going one place in Apollo House. They then got into a taxi and told they were going somewhere else. They're treating us like dogs and they're treating us like fools. And we've let down a red line saying we are not taking it anymore. This housing crisis is going to end. And it's going to end in a way that is fair and dignified for everyone that will guarantee everyone a safe home. So now we can And they told us we have to be out by noon on 11th January. We're past that date. We are still here. And in court today, we apply for an extension because they haven't met those demands. And it's looking like they are not going to give us an extension. They've even said, shame, exactly shame on them. They've even said that some of the residents in here who are also volunteers, they're not going to recognize them and put them on their list. So, we are going to defy this court order. We are staying here. For our families, for everyone we know who is affected by this.
this crisis because the country is not filled anymore. Yeah. There's two things that we need you to do. We need you to stand with us, put your arms together, linking arms around this building to send a clear image to the courts, to the receivers, to Simon Coveney, to DCC, that we are standing together. Then, we need everybody who is willing to be on an anti-eviction list, who is willing to come down here and protect the Apollo House and everything it stands for. We need you to go to the end of this building where we will take your details, because this is not over. We need a follow house here for as long as they are treating people like dogs. Thank you.